Ladies and gentlemen, the recipient of the 37th AFI Life Achievement Award, my friend, dear friend, Mikey D. Michael Douglas. Come on, Mikey. so much. Thank you for your, for your graciousness, extraordinary gestures tonight. Jack, thank you very much, and thank the NBA for an away game uh, tonight. Uh, <clears throat> appreciate that uh, very, very much. Uh, I really do, you know? I mean, what can I say? This is right up there uh, with uh, my, my wedding day, the uh, days of the births of my children. I want to thank the American uh, Film Institute for this extraordinary effort and gestures for putting this, uh, this evening together. It, uh, it's, it's, it's really overwhelming and certainly was entertaining for me and, I, and I, I hope for you. And it's so, well, it's so incredibly fulfilling to hear these things and not be dead, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, at one point, you know, Catherine turned to me and she said, and she looked at me this loving look, she said, God, honey, you are so old, you know? And, <laughs> But sweetheart, hey, I didn't even know you could dance. That was fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, huh? No, the gestures and the efforts that you made. So for the, uh, the past about 11 years, I do work with the United Nations. And uh, one thing that strikes me wherever I go is that American films export our culture in a way that reflects incredibly well on our nation and, and on our values. And, Well, just a great remind, a reminder that although we call it the, the entertainment industry, it does so much more than just entertain. I mean, this industry serves as the best American ambassador we can hand offer the world. It truly does. And that, you know, raises the question to me, is what am I doing up here, right? Right. And uh, getting this Lifetime Achievement Award, I, I, I know. And you know what it is? No, it's great genes. <laughs> great genes, both. Uh... <laughs> both my, my mother and my father had been working actors their entire lives. And I think it was maybe it was the great philosopher Yogi Berra. <laughs> Yogi Berra was a great philosopher and he, he once said, you can, observe, you can observe a lot by watching. And growing up and being able to watch my father acting and producing movies and getting to see my mother acting on stage was the biggest advantage anyone in the second generation could ever have. And I want to thank you both and I love you both. So, so I got this, uh, you know, I've got this gift from my parents of this, this acting DNA and their love of our profession. But it was someone else, you know, who really became my true mentor, and that was Carl Malden. And I saw Carl this morning, I stopped by, he's, um, he's 95, he wanted to be here tonight. And I just want him always to know that I'll be his adopted son anytime. So. And a special thanks to, to all of those who, who came here tonight, like, like Oliver uh, Stone, who we are getting ready to do a, a picture again after 20 years. I think it probably takes that long to recover. Um, <laughs> Kathleen, my darling, thank you so much. Three pictures together, 
We either romanced with each other or fought in the pictures. <laughs> Sharon Stone, actress in Basic Instinct, showed me a side of herself I never thought I'd see. <laughs> Annette Bening, who classed me up in the American president, something which she hopefully helped her in her 18-year futile attempt to class Warren up. <laughs> Toby, thank you, my friend. Thank you so much for taking a night off from baby duty. Uh, I do appreciate that. And Kiefer Sutherland, I feel so much safer, you know, as a former American president with I got Jack Bauer around me. To do that more. And Matthew McConaughey, who showed me tonight just how important it was by going out and renting a shirt. You know, so. And so, and to Sir Howard Stringer and the AFI board who nominated me for this award, who was so generous in giving me the experience of being here back on a real studio lot after so many years. There's nothing better than coming to your own testimonial and being asked for photo ID at the gate, uh, you know, at least twice. And to all the extraordinary directors, uh, Paul Verhoeven, thank you. Curtis Hansen, thank you so much, both of you, for being here tonight. And to the amazing writers who made it sound like I knew what I was talking about, and all the hardworking casts and the wonderful actors that are here, and the talented crew that I've worked with for tens of thousands of hours, and to movie fans everywhere, thank you for watching. And of course, saving, <sighs> saving the best for last. To my wife, Catherine, I'm so proud of you, darling. And to my oldest son, Cameron, who's here with us tonight, a fine actor in his own right. And to my kids home back in Bermuda, Dylan and Karis, I love you so much. Tonight, it's a celebration of movies and my small part in them. You know, and, and although on, the, on the, the weekend box office, it, it may take for great reading on Monday mornings, but what really lasts, what matters the most, is the history and the heritage of American films and the legacies of those who've been a part of it. And that's why we have the American Film Institute and to remember and preserve and, and cherish the stories that echo across time. So I may be standing alone on the stage right now, but my entire career has been the most amazing collaboration ever. And I thank you all for being here tonight and having your patience. Good night. And thank you. Good night. Thank you.